So we are starting with 0.84 moles of SO3 in a 2.5 liter container. So first, before we begin, we'll have to calculate this into molarity. So to do that, we'll do it off to the side. 0 0.840 moles divided by 2.50 liters gives us 0 0.336 molarity. And the same with this constant or this moles of O2. We have to convert that to molarity. 0 0.110 moles divided by 2.50 liters gives us 0 0.044 molarity. So this is the equilibrium concentration of O2, and this is the initial concentration of SO3. So we'll have to do an ice table, and we're solving for Kc. So we have initial, change, equilibrium. So we're starting with 0 0.336 molarity of that. We don't have anything of that or anything of that to start with. So all of this, we're taking from this side and adding it to this side, so we have a minus. And then, since there's a 2 in front of it, we have to do a 2x. And then here's another 2, so this is a plus 2x. And there's just a 1 in front of that, so it's just plus x. And then the final, we do know this value, which is right here, 0.044. So 0 plus x equals this, which means x equals 0 0.44. So 2x will equal 0 0.088. So this is this value in molarity. And then this minus the 0 0.088 gives us 0 0.248. Then to find Kc, we take the concentration of SO2 times concentration, oh, this is squared because of this coefficient, and then the concentration of O2, and this is all the equilibrium concentration, so we're using these values. And then divided by the concentration of SO3, and that is also squared because of the coefficient in front of it. So if we plug in the numbers, we get 0 0.088 squared times 0 0.044 divided by 0 0.248 squared. And that, once all the math is done, we get 5.54 times 10 to the negative 3 equals Kc.